Hi guys, my name is Tara Henderson and I am a director with Hooray Sales and my team is called the Model Mates. I joined in 2018 with Tupperware. I became a director in the summer of 2020. I'm originally from Long Island, New York. I live in Gastonia outside of Charlotte, North Carolina now. I've been married for 11 years. I have three kids and I am here today to talk to you about recruiting. So the first thing is I want to warn you, this is not a video on how to find super sellers. This is a video on how to get their foot in the door. And then what happens next is up to you and it's up to them. But the hardest part is to get people signed up and that's what we're going to talk about today. So when I signed up in 2018, I signed up because I had already had some Tupperware pieces and I wanted the best deal and I wanted a discount. So that's what I'm going to teach you what how to do today. I'm going to teach you how to get people signed up that want a good deal and that love Tupperware. <clears throat> so it's a seven-step process. And if you guys follow the seven steps, I promise you'll be successful. Um, step one that we're going to talk about first is your mindset. So when I started in 2018, I struggled with recruiting. Um, a little background information about me, I was a retail manager for 22 years, and I recruited all the time, but I struggled a little bit with Tupperware, and what the changing point for me was my mindset. Tupperware is supposed to be fun. A lot of us joined just to shop for the discount. A lot of us joined to do it part-time, and people don't stay at part-time jobs that aren't fun, right? So we want to have fun, and the first thing you want to do is just get the stress off about recruiting shake it off do not worry about getting people to join your team because if you follow these steps it's going to happen so the mindset you have to have is that you are just going to get your customers the best deal you're going to have customers that love our products and your job is not to recruit and get all these fabulous sellers that will come later your job first is to get them the best deal and if you don't try to get them the best deal, you're just hurting them. So let's, you know, honor our customers by trying to get them the best deal. Okay, so with being in retail for 22 years, I have done thousands of interviews. And I can't tell you guys how many times I was disappointed by someone that I thought was going to be my super seller, had a great resume, interviewed great, but then they underperformed. But then I had um, an applicant that okay, she might, he or she might be mediocre, you know, but they turned out to be my rising star and they turned out to be my next assistant manager in my store. So you just don't know. It's a numbers game. So you want to get in as many people as you can and see what they can do. And especially with most parties being virtual, a lot of people don't feel like they're sellers and can't sell in person, but that doesn't mean they can't sell on Facebook. So again, the mindset that we're going into with this training and with you trying to build your team is trying to make sure that we are just going to get them the best deal and that's how we're going to get them to sign up. Okay, guys, so step two is to make a goal for yourself. So again, the goal is not to stress you out. It's just so you have something to strive for and then you can celebrate. So I suggest if you are not strong yet in recruiting or you don't believe you are, um, start off small and set a goal for yourself to recruit one person a month and then move up to maybe one person a party. Okay, so that's step two is make a goal. Step three is know what is in the deluxe demo kit and know what your welcome bonus is every month. I know that sounds something really simple, but I found that a lot of people on my team don't know what that is every month. So you wanna make sure that you know what's in the kit. You don't have to memorize it, but have a photo handy um, that when you get an order, you can look at the kit um, and just make sure that you are always familiar with um, that and the welcome bonus, because that is um, gonna help you with your next step. Okay, so that's step three, know what's in your kit. No, it's in the welcome bonus. Step four is laying the foundation or setting it up. All right. So we're going to set our customers up and they're not going to know. Um, but what I mean by that is whatever your, whatever your method is for partying, whether you do Facebook parties or you do in-home parties, what you want to focus on during your parties is the items that are in our deluxe demo kit. So for example, 
I only do Facebook parties. I've actually never done an in-home party. And it's not because of COVID, because it started in 2018. It's just because that works well for me. So I just run my business from my phone when I'm home with my kids. Um, but what I do during my Facebook parties is I do pre-party posts. And all my posts about are about items in the kit. Okay, because I know I'm going to have a better chance of customers wanting them. So I focus on the breakfast maker. I focus on the supersonic choppers, the fridge smart, the microfiber towels. And I make sure that I'm educating them about the products and getting them psyched up for the products that are in the kit. So I can turn that into a kit sale later on. So same thing if you do in-person parties. You want to focus on those parties I'm sorry, you want to focus on those products during your demos at the party. So you create interest. Again, you're setting them up, but they don't know it yet. And that way, um, you have an easy segue into talking to them about the kit later. Okay, guys, so we just have a couple of steps left. So step five is capturing the order. So again, I only do Facebook parties, but something that I do is I never ever post my website or the party link at the party. I use something different to capture the orders. Um, I personally use a Google Doc, but I'm sure there's other methods out there. If you don't know how to make a Google Doc, just Google it. It's very simple and there's some YouTube videos also. But the reason I don't post my website or the party link is because I have no control of the sale and a customer will just go ahead and order and they might have ordered some things in the kit and I never had a chance to tell them that they can save money with the kit instead. So I post the Google order form during the party. I take a look at all of my orders and if anyone is ordering something that is in the kit, I send them a message and that's step six, following up. Okay, so step six is following up with the customer. So for example, if I get an order form from Melissa and she is ordering the Wonderlier bowls, I am going to send her a message before I place that order because I'm inputting the orders for them because they're filling out an order form. So it does take a little bit more work, but I promise the time um, pays off because now I'm going to message Melissa and I'm going to say, hey, Melissa, thank you for your order. I just wanted to make sure that you saw that the kit also comes with the Wonderlier bowls. It's all I message, and I shoot a picture of the kit. So notice I'm not talking about selling. I'm not talking about signing up with Tupperware. I just want to make sure that they see the value of the kit. And I highlight two things. One, that the kit is free shipping. And two, that the kit comes super fast. So I'll send that in my message as well. And I can't tell you guys how many times I get orders with one, two, three items that are in the kit because of all those pre-party posts I did and I focused on those items to begin with. So a lot of times it's like the same price or cheaper for the customer to get the kit, especially when you um, talk about shipping because it's free shipping, right? So you don't have that additional cost. So that step six is following up with the customer, just shooting them that message. And I would say about half the time they say, yeah, let's go ahead and get the kit. So I will talk to them later on about the benefits of Tupperware. I'm not worrying about that right now. I'm just worrying. I'm just making sure that they know that the kit is a the best deal for them. And just another note about the order forms, it will also boost your sales because that's just another thing about customer psychology. If they go and they are ordering on your website, they're seeing the total price, they're seeing tax, they're seeing shipping. They don't see any of that on my order form. They're just basically writing down what they want. So your orders are usually going to be a lot higher um, because they're not worried about how much they're spending. They're not seeing that total in their face. Okay, guys, so we're at the last step, which is step seven, and that is reviewing the benefits of Tupperware with the person who ordered the kit and offering to run a launch party for them. So I don't do this right away. I let them get their kit first, and then probably a week later, I will follow up with Melissa, and I will say, hey, did you get your kit? What do you think about all the products? And if she didn't show me an interest in selling yet, then I'll just say, hey, why don't we just do a quick party like the one that you attended and I'll run it for you so your friends know that they can order Tupperware from you and I'm going to let you keep all the commission, right? Because I'm going to run the party for them, but it's their party. So I'm going to make sure that they get credit for those sales. 
So again, that's something that um, if you're not sure how to do, you can talk to your uh, leader or your manager about it. Um, but that is the last step. So you guys will see this whole time, I wasn't talking about selling Tupperware or joining my team. I never said that. I just wanted to make sure that they got the best deal for their money. And if they're ordering something from the kit, that we turned that sale into a kit. You are going to lose commission on that sale, right? But you just got another member on your team. And I will tell you, um, you know, when I was really focusing on this during COVID, um, because my store was shut down and I was on furlough for about five months, I had 80 people join my team in two months just by using this method. Um, I didn't go out and recruit. I didn't ask people to sell Tupperware with me. I just ran a lot of parties. So it's important to keep your date book full. So if you need help dating parties, again, reach out to your leader. Um, but that is all I did. That's all I did. And um, now I stay home with my kids and I'm a full-time director with Tupperware and I couldn't be happier. So don't let your, yourself get in the way because if you tell your, yourself you can't do it um, and you can't recruit, you're probably not going to. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Again, don't be stressed about recruiting. Just get your customers the best deal. Bye, guys. Have a great day.